Have you ever found yourself at a crossroads, uncertain of the path ahead, questioning whether God is guiding your steps? Today, let's explore the divine clues that reassure us of God's presence and purpose in our lives. In the journey of faith, we often encounter challenges, but through these challenges, God provides us with signs that He is clearing our path. Before this, start this video. Please like this video. It will help us to reach all the people in the Word. In the last, I'll pray a strong and good prayer with you in Jesus' name. Stick around till the end and be open to receive the good things from this prayer. Let us delve into the profound significance of the first clue on our journey of Christian motivation, divine peace. Have you ever experienced a peace that transcends all understanding? A peace that envelops you in the midst of life's chaos? A calm assurance that despite the storms you are held by a higher power? This, my dear friends, is a powerful indicator that God is actively at work, clearing your path. The Bible tells us in Philippians 4, 7, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This divine peace is not merely the absence of conflict or challenges. Rather, it is a profound sense of tranquility that can only come from a deep connection with our Creator. In the Gospel of John, Jesus promises a peace unlike any the world can offer. In John 14, 27, he says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. This peace is a gift from God, a reassurance that we can find solace in Him regardless of the circumstances surrounding us. Now consider your life's journey. In moments of uncertainty, have you felt an inexplicable peace settle within your soul? Perhaps during a challenging decision, a period of waiting or even amidst adversity? This is God's way of communicating that He is actively involved in orchestrating your path. When God is clearing your path, this divine peace becomes a guiding force. It's an internal compass directing you toward the paths He has laid out for you. It is not a fleeting emotion, but a constant, unwavering presence that accompanies you on your spiritual journey. Embracing this divine peace requires surrender, surrendering your fears, anxieties, and uncertainties to the Almighty. It involves trusting that God's plans for your life far exceed your understanding, and His peace is the anchor that holds you steady. In times of trial, reflect on the words of Isaiah 26, 3, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Steadfast minds anchored in trust lead to perfect peace, a peace that serves as evidence that God is actively at work, clearing the way before you. Let us now delve into the profound exploration of the second clue on our Christian journey of motivation, open doors. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 implores us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. The open doors in your life are reflections of this divine promise, manifestations of God's guidance as you entrust your journey to Him. Consider the life of Joseph in the Old Testament. Despite facing betrayal, imprisonment and adversity, God's plan for him prevailed and doors opened at the appointed time. Genesis 39, 21 recounts, But the Lord was with Joseph, and showed him steadfast love, and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Even in the darkest moments, God was preparing Joseph for the open doors that would lead to his ultimate purpose. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul experienced the reality of God's open doors. In 1 Corinthians 16, 9, he writes, A wide door for effective work has opened to me, and there are many adversaries. Paul recognized that the challenges he faced were accompanied by divine opportunities, doors opening for the proclamation of the gospel and the advancement of God's kingdom. Now reflect on your own life. Have you encountered opportunities that align seamlessly with your skills, passions, and God's calling on your life? These open doors are not mere coincidences, but reflections of God's divine orchestration. They are invitations to step into His will, 
and embrace the purpose for which He has uniquely designed you. God's timing is impeccable, and the doors He opens are not bound by human limitations. Revelation 3, 8 assures us, I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door, which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word, and have not denied my name. The doors opened by God are beyond the control of man. They are pathways to his plan that no force can obstruct. As you navigate through life, be attentive to these open doors. Seek God's guidance in prayer and discernment, trusting that he will lead you through the doors that align with his divine purpose for your life. Embrace the opportunities presented, recognizing them as tangible evidence that God is actively clearing your path and directing your steps. We embark on a profound exploration of the third clue in our Christian journey of motivation, alignment with his word. Psalm 119, 105 reminds us, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The Bible, divinely inspired and filled with God's eternal truths, serves as our guidebook. When your decisions, actions, and aspirations align with the teachings of Scripture, it is a compelling indication that God is intricately involved in shaping your path. Consider the words of Jesus in Matthew 4, 4. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The nourishment that sustains our spiritual journey comes not just from physical sustenance, but from aligning our lives with the life-giving words found in the Bible. In the Gospel of John, Jesus refers to himself as the Word made flesh. John 1.14 states, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. When we align our lives with Christ, who is the embodiment of God's Word, we walk in harmony with the divine purpose for which we were created. As you reflect on your own journey, examine the decisions you make, the values you uphold, and the priorities that shape your life. Do they resonate with the teachings of Scripture? When your path aligns with the principles of love, compassion, justice, and humility found in the Bible, it becomes a testimony to God's active involvement in clearing the way before you. Proverbs 3, 6 advises, In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Acknowledging God in all aspects of your life involves seeking His guidance through prayer and allowing His Word to illuminate your choices. It means surrendering your will to His and trusting that His divine wisdom surpasses your understanding. Moreover, aligning with God's Word involves a continuous process of transformation. Romans 12, 2 encourages us, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. The alignment with God's Word transforms us, renewing our minds and enabling us to discern His perfect will. We embark on a contemplative journey into the fourth clue in our exploration of Christian motivation, confirmation through prayer. Have you ever experienced the profound reassurance that your prayers are not falling on deaf ears, but are met with divine answers and guidance? As we navigate the complexities of life, the confirmation received through prayer stands as a compelling clue that God is actively clearing our path. Jesus, in his teachings, emphasizes the significance of prayer as a direct line of communication with the Heavenly Father. In Matthew 7, 7, he declares, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. The very act of praying signifies an acknowledgement of our dependence on God, and the responses we receive serve as confirmations of His involvement in our lives. Reflect on the words of James 5.16, Therefore confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Prayer is not merely a ritual but a potent force, and the answers we receive are manifestations of God's active engagement in our concerns and needs. Consider the life of Hannah in the Old Testament, 
who fervently prayed for a child. In 1 Samuel 1.27, we witness her acknowledgement of God's role in answering her prayer. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me my petition that I made to him. Hannah's prayer was met with confirmation, affirming God's divine plan unfolding in her life. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul consistently sought God through prayer, and he found confirmation in God's responses. In 2 Corinthians 12, 8, 9, Paul recounts, Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Paul's prayers were met with divine assurance, confirming God's sufficient grace even in the midst of challenges. Reflect on your own prayer life. Have you experienced moments when your prayers align with God's will and the responses received are unmistakable confirmations of His guidance? These moments are not mere coincidences, but powerful affirmations that God is actively involved in clearing your path. The act of prayer involves surrender, trust, and a willingness to align our desires with God's perfect will. As we seek His guidance and lay our concerns before Him, the confirmations received become beacons of light, illuminating the path that God is meticulously clearing for us. Let us embark on a contemplative journey into the fifth clue on our Christian path of motivation, spiritual growth amidst challenges. As we navigate the twists and turns of life, the presence of spiritual growth amidst challenges stands as a compelling clue that God is actively at work, clearing our path and refining our faith. James 1, 2, 4 encourages us with these words, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. This profound insight reminds us that challenges are not obstacles to our faith, but opportunities for it to deepen and mature. Reflect on the life of Job, a man who faced unimaginable trials, yet his unwavering faith and trust in God led to a profound spiritual transformation. In Job 23.10, Job declares, but he knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I will come forth as gold. The refining process in the crucible of challenges ultimately resulted in a strengthened and purified faith. Similarly, the Apostle Paul faced numerous challenges in his ministry, and yet he recognized the spiritual growth that emerged from these experiences. In Romans 5, 3, 4, Paul writes, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. The challenges he encountered contributed to the development of enduring character and unwavering hope. Consider your own life journey. Have you faced moments of hardship or trials that, in retrospect, paved the way for spiritual growth and a deeper connection with God? These challenges are not random occurrences, but integral components of God's plan for your spiritual development. The process of spiritual growth amidst challenges involves embracing a perspective that transcends the immediate difficulties. It requires trust that God's refining hand is at work even in the midst of adversity. In 2 Corinthians 4.17, 18, Paul encourages us, for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Let us now embark on a contemplative journey into the sixth clue of our Christian motivation, consistent patterns. As we navigate the intricate tapestry of our journey, these harmonious patterns stand as compelling clues that God is actively at work, clearing our path with meticulous precision. Proverbs 3, 6 implores us to, In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. The acknowledgement of God in every facet of our lives, 
opens our eyes to the consistent patterns that reveal his divine orchestration. It is a testament to his faithfulness, guiding us along the path he has uniquely designed for each one of us. Reflect on the life of Joseph in the Old Testament. Despite facing adversity, betrayal and imprisonment, consistent patterns of God's favor and guidance were evident. In Genesis 39, 21, it is written, But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him steadfast love and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Joseph's life showcased a consistent pattern of God's presence and favor, guiding him from the pit to the palace. In the New Testament, consider the Apostle Peter, who experienced consistent patterns of divine revelation. In Matthew 16, 17, Jesus responds to Peter's acknowledgement of him as the Messiah, saying, Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Peter's life was marked by consistent patterns of revelation, guiding him in his understanding of Christ's identity. Now, reflect on your own journey. Do you discern consistent patterns unfolding themes of provision, guidance or opportunities that align with God's purpose for your life? These patterns are not mere coincidences, but markers of God's intentional design. They are like breadcrumbs along your path, affirming his faithful presence and guiding hand. Consistent patterns also require our attentive participation. It involves staying connected with God through prayer, seeking his guidance, and aligning our choices with his will. As Psalm 37.23 reminds us, the Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Delighting in the Lord involves an active engagement with his word and a willingness to follow where he leads. Let us now embark on the culminating exploration of our Christian motivation. The seventh clue, a sense of purpose. Have you ever experienced a deep conviction that your life is part of a greater plan, a purpose woven into the very fabric of your existence? As we traverse the intricate paths of life, the profound sense of purpose stands as a resounding clue that God is actively at work, clearing our path towards a destiny aligned with His divine design. In Ephesians 2.10 we find these reassuring words, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. This divine purpose is not a haphazard occurrence, but a deliberate masterpiece crafted by the Creator Himself. Your life, dear brothers and sisters, is intricately designed to fulfill a purpose that contributes to the unfolding of God's eternal plan. Reflect on the life of Moses, chosen to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Despite his initial hesitation and self-doubt, God revealed a sense of purpose that transcended Moses' understanding. In Exodus 3.10, the Lord declares, So now go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people the Israelites out of Egypt. Moses' life became a testament to the fulfillment of a purpose divinely ordained. In the New Testament, Consider the transformation of Saul into the Apostle Paul. His encounter with Christ on the road to Damascus marked a pivotal moment where purpose was revealed. Acts 9.15 conveys the divine commission, Go, this man is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name to the Gentiles and their kings and to the people of Israel. Paul's life exemplifies the profound impact of discovering and living out God's purpose, now reflect on your own journey. Have you sensed a calling, a passion, or a mission that resonates with the core of your being? This sense of purpose is not confined to grandiose endeavors, but may manifest in everyday acts of kindness, in your professional pursuits, or in the relationships you nurture. Your purpose, intricately woven into the tapestry of your life, is a divine clue that God is actively at work guiding you towards the fulfillment of his unique plan for you. Discovering your purpose requires an openness to God's leading, a willingness to align your desires with his will, and a trust that he will unveil his plan in his perfect timing. Proverbs 19.21 reminds us, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. 
trust in his purpose, for it surpasses our limited understanding and leads to a life of fulfillment and significance. In conclusion, dear brothers and sisters, may you embrace the profound sense of purpose embedded in your existence. Trust that God is actively at work, clearing your path towards the realization of his divine plan. As you navigate the intricate journey of life, may your sense of purpose be a guiding light, illuminating the way and infusing every step with meaning and significance. May you find motivation, fulfillment, and joy in living out the purpose for which you were uniquely created. Amen. Now this is the time for prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts filled with gratitude and reverence, acknowledging your sovereignty over all creation. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And in your presence we find solace, strength, and peace. Lord, as we lift our voices in prayer, we recognize your unwavering love that knows no bounds. Your grace sustains us, and your mercy covers our shortcomings. We stand in awe of your majesty, for you are the creator of the heavens and the earth, and everything within them declares your glory. We confess our need for your guidance, wisdom, and forgiveness. In moments of doubt, grant us unwavering faith. In times of confusion, illuminate our path with the light of your truth. We surrender our will to yours, trusting that your plans far exceed our understanding. Heavenly Father, we intercede for those facing trials, challenges, and uncertainties. Comfort the brokenhearted, heal the sick, and provide for those in need. We lift up leaders in all spheres of life, praying for wisdom, discernment, and a commitment to justice. Lord Jesus, our Savior, we thank you for the sacrifice on the cross that grants us redemption and eternal life. May your love inspire us to love others selflessly. Let our actions reflect your teachings, and may our lives be living testimonies of your transformative power. Holy Spirit, our Comforter, fill us with your presence. Guide us in our daily walk, prompting us to bear the fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We pray for unity among believers, that our collective witness may draw others to you. Break down the walls of division, and let your church be a beacon of light in a world in need of hope. Father, we bring before you our families, friends, and communities. Protect them, bless them, and may your peace reign in their hearts. We also remember those who are far from you. Draw them close and reveal your love to them in ways only you can. In times of tribulation, remind us of your promise in Isaiah 41, 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Lord, we conclude this prayer with a heart overflowing with gratitude. May our lives be living sacrifices pleasing to you as we seek to bring glory to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Comment Amen if you believe that this prayer will help in your life. Subscribe this channel for more video, like this video, and share this video in your friends and family.